Hi, my name is Quinn Gardner. I'm a recent graduate of Robert Morris University. I'm looking to come to Taiwan so I can get a job teaching English. My brother is currently an English teacher for the Hess International Group. I hope to become one as well. I have a sub-certificate from the United States and I have my bachelor's degree as well. I've been subbing for the past three months and I really enjoy it. I hope to continue over there. The lesson that we're going to go over with today is going to talk about vocabulary words and then we're going to talk about progressive verbs. So first to introduce the vocabulary words to the kids, I'm going to start out by having this picture here and it's going to list the vocab words with the food as well. I'm also going to have these printed out their vocab cards. One will say the word and one will have the picture. That way they're able to associate the word and the picture together. I will also have these sentences written up on the board. She eats vegetables. She eats bread. We're going to follow this sentence structure right here, which goes with person, action, object. So first we're going to start with the vocabulary words. For them to learn the vocabulary words, they're going to have these flashcards in front of them like I recently said. And I'm also going to bring in the food for them so they have a physical object to look at as well. So they're going to go around in a circle and they're going to say, he eats bread. Then we'll have the physical object there so they can make the relation and they're going to do that in repetition over and over and over again with different foods so they can make all of those associations. Um, after they are good with the vocabulary words, we're going to move on to um, the progressive verbs. So the, pro the progressive verb, which I have over here, is the ing. She is eating vegetables. He is eating vegetables. In order for, in order for them to make the, make the difference between eats and eating, we're going to use a physical action and they're actually going to be able to eat what I have brought in. So in a circle, they're going to be able to go around and say, she is eating, he is eating. That way they'll be able to have both the vocab words, the actual physical object, and they'll be able to make the physical movement themselves in order to make that correlation together. Again, in order for them to get the sentence structure down, we will do this multiple times. We could have um, we could have them come up to the room and they can do it themselves and practice, or we could go around in a circle, or we could do it in partners as well. Um, so after we would do the vocabulary words and the sentence structure, I would move on into creating a game for them. So they could do this game in partners or they could do it in groups of four, however they want to play. The game is called Concentration. So what you would do would be, you would take both the word cards and you would take both the picture cards. I have more here. You would place the picture cards on the floor like this, face down and you would place the words cards face down. So you mix them up first and then each person gets to take a turn. You could even play this as a whole class. They could all play together. You can mix them up, scatter them around. It doesn't matter or you could put them in a row, either or, however you want to play. So the concept of this game is that they are constantly trying to find the right word to match with the right picture. So they have to remember what picture goes with what word, which is why earlier in the lesson, we, I used the physical object so they could associate that with the picture and word. So just for an example, I'm going to flip over vegetables. Vegetables is my first word. Then I'm going to flip over noodles. So, the kids will then make the association that they do not match. So, I have these pictures right here. Good, bad. They can shake their head, no, this does not match, or yes, this does match. Or thumbs up, or thumbs down. So, since these do not match, that kid's turn is over. 
They will then flip these cards back over using their memory to try and find the correct match the next time. So just for another example, I picked up peas. I'm going to look in, where's peas? Oh, corn, not peas. So now I'm gonna remember that again. Flip over, flip over, and it's the next kid's turn. This game is supposed to help them with their memory and making the associations with words and pictures. This would be a game that they could play constantly over and over again, and it is a very fun game, competitive, and they can learn while they're playing. that I have taught to you today. We have gone over the vocab words and sentence structure. We've played a game and we've brought in physical objects. I can only hope that they got as much out of this lesson that I have. Thank you so much. I appreciate you listening.